what's up it's Kathy and I'm back with another photo focus layout and uh, this is the fourth one in my little mini series which would be five altogether and for now and it's been a really long time since I got a chance to work on one of these and it kind of bums me out that I didn't get a chance to finish them as quickly as I wanted to I did have some uh, other projects that kind of came up that I had to work on immediately uh, just due to deadlines but um, that's all finished <laughs> so that'll be kind of I'll be mentioning some of that on uh, social media and stuff very soon but I wanted to get back into finishing this uh, this series and also I had done this layout and I loved it so much that I was so excited to uh, get to talk about it <clears throat> and uh, I thought I had everything good and I went to edit the photos and I don't know what happened but I had some kind of angelic halo thing going on in every single photo and I had to re shoot the photos and stuff like that not the photo subjects like that but the actual product photo the layout photo it, it was really weird so I finally got around to getting everything together in that perfect uh, perfect timing to to edit this video, to voice it over, to have the finished layout picture done and all that and to get a chance to talk about it. So my last two layouts for this series were double page layouts <clears throat> and I just wanted to, like the first one I did was a single page layout and so this one's another single page layout. I'm not sure if my last one's going to be single or double uh, or what I'm going to do there but um, I found these photos from going to the pumpkin patch last year. It's kind of something that we do as a family every year. We go and pick our pumpkins for carving and then also some pumpkins that we're going to use like as decoration around our front steps and everything at our house. So I always, of course, kind of try to dress the kids fairly nice and uh, take some family photos and it's a really hot it's like a hot spot for the fall so there's always a lot of people there there's even sometimes with well, last time we were there there was a wedding party having their pictures done there and stuff like that so it can be a little tricky to get some good pictures because you're kind of going against like trying to take pictures with crowds behind you and everything like that plus <laughs> you've got three kids and or well, I've got three kids obviously <laughs> and they're different ages and they can be really really different when it comes to taking photos um my son my oldest son is really great about taking photos but he often wants to put like a goofy smile on but he's really good about like sitting and taking a photo my daughter gets really weird about it for someone who is so into like performing and stuff she the minute you start trying to take her photo she gets really weird and of course my youngest is my youngest and it's just hard to take pictures of kids sometimes so these are all the ones that did not work someone had like their their face in a like doing a funny face or their eyes closed or looking the wrong way or or ones that just weren't like let's say perfect but I still kind of wanted to scrap them because they're just really cute anyway so I thought I would take, um, I, there weren't many more than these four fails. Uh, so I took the four that I thought were the best that weren't really blurry or anything like that. And I wanted to do a vertical uh, layout design. It's something I haven't done in a while. And I was kind of feeling like, oh, it's been done so many times. It's not really interesting anymore. I'm not really interested in doing vertical designs. And then I did this one. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm so back into vertical <laughs> designs again. Um, so the background paper is one from I guess Webster's Pages and I bought it on the paper issue store and I bought like 10 pieces of it because it's hard to get a good uh, a good wood grain and when you find one you love for me or you find some kind of background paper you know you're going to use a lot I do stock up like I will buy 10 of something I've done it I've bought like five and stuff or whatever I could get of an item uh, before just to have plenty of it whether it was going to be for using as like a page border or or whatever so um, a lot of what I'm going to use that main that that tree paper that's also Webster's pages 
Um, and then you saw me do, I'm not sure if I cut it out, but I had a sheet of cut aparts, um, like Project Life type cut aparts. And that was also from Webster's Pages. I'm going like really crazy on the Webster's Pages stuff. Um, I got a bunch from ordering at Paper Issues recently. Um, it's some like older stuff, but uh, sometimes I like going back and finding the older products that we're not really using anymore, but I'm like, I really like that. And it might just be a paper here or there. So still going to use it. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of using a bunch of Project Life cards and different things like that. That October is from Maggie Holmes. It was a cut apart. The tag that I put in there was, uh, I think it was crepe paper, um, the la, fa la la, um, or fa la 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 la, or however they did it. It was last year's well, 2017's uh, Christmas one, but you know, it was a black check with like a red and it really was nondescript. Like you didn't know it was necessarily Christmas. <clears throat> and since I had that branding strip from the Webster's pages that also had like a black check, I decided to kind of use that. And it kind of brought in some of the colors that are going on in the photo because there's like a red, buffalo check going on on my son's shirt they're wearing some grays and there's some blacks and stuff and oranges and everything so I'm trying to incorporate that without it turning too theme-ish uh if that makes sense like like this was taken in October it was taken in the fall it's one of those like going to the pumpkin patch family kind of things but I wanted to steer clear of that traditional kind of stuff that we would use so like pumpkins and uh, sayings about fall and and different stuff like that so I'm going off to collect a whole bunch of ephemera packages so I don't mind the lighting I just had to kind of fiddle with it a few different times to get it to work because the pictures were still having that like halo effect even when I was looking in the video uh, and editing it they were just it was very um kind of almost blurry or like they were glowing it was very strange so I'm staying away from those typical colors I'm bringing in a few hints of orange and and fall type products like the fox is there and a lot of people associate that with fall and everything uh and a few hints of of orange and red but for the most part I'm focusing on the photos being about the family and not about the particular time frame that they were taken I have I wanted to bring in some wood veneer and I decided to bring in those little um, Polaroid picture frames and I bought them in a store when I was in Halifax one time um, before this this uh, scrapbooking store closed um, which I guess kind of makes sense. It's it's kind of sucks when a lot of our, our favorite shops kind of close. But at the same time, like, I don't know a lot of people that, that scrapbook to have kept a store like that in in a smaller community um, afloat. But, uh, yeah, they were really cute. They were tiny. And I just thought they would make a neat little, a neat little feature on a page. And then, I, of course, I never used them. And I bought them quite a while ago. So I decided to use them for this because we're, I'm focusing on photos. So why not use these little, you know, photo frames? Obviously I wasn't going to put anything in them. I mean, I could have put a little bit of a pattern paper in them if I wanted, but I just wanted them to be an accent. So I'm kind of lining them up in different spots and I can't decide if I want to use three or four or where I want to put them all. Um, the little green tag there that says happy little life. I cut out of a project life card the family time was from a project life, but like a Becky Higgins project life. I think it was dear Lizzie, um, from a while ago, but I don't remember the, if it's, it was just called like home collection or something. So it wasn't anything necessarily specific. And it was a lot of journaling cards and not a lot of, um, uh, what do they call patterns and stuff so some of the other products that I use like the butterfly and the robin and the fox they are all from uh, pretty little studio which I love their stuff too because it's all vintage and really cool anyway I thought I would do my title very small so that it's not going to go across the whole rest of the page so that it still remains kind of just a vertical layout and it doesn't go too crazy horizontal so I'm using 
tiny stickers. And I'm just writing family photo fail in varying sizes and colors. And I just want it to be like the, like the, that the title is just kind of hinted there. So this is like a great way to do a progression, like, like a time progression um, photo series or different things like that. If you maybe you're doing a bunch of action shots, uh, putting them together in like a vertical design like this. I popped one up a little bit higher than the others just to tuck a bit more underneath. Um, and then that was it. Like I just kind of layered. This was also a great way to use up some Project Life cards and little scraps that I had laying around because I just kind of tucked them in and let different parts kind of show through, like made sure you could see the thing that said family time and stuff like that. But, and that it said October. But other than that, you know, I wasn't really concerned that you saw every single part of every single um, card. And I am going to use my Dilutions white and it doesn't work. This isn't the, the right kind of paper that this would work on. So I'm going to go back later with uh, white ink, but that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me. I will see you in the next video. So pictures are coming up and stay crafty. Mm -hmm.